Afghanistan had one of the largest refugee crises of the last century. The situation in Afghanistan is very dire right now. At one point, there were eight million Afghans, that's roughly a third of the Afghan population, who lived abroad as refugees, mainly in Iran and in Pakistan. These people coming back from Pakistan or Iran or internally displaced, they have no place to live. And when they do find a place or if they can't afford a, a piece of land, um, they generally don't have the materials or the money to buy um, a shelter. It's very difficult to get by with your life and try to get a job and provide for your children and have them go to school and do the things that everybody wants to do. If you're homeless, if you're living under a tent or you're living squatting out in the open in the middle of nowhere, and I saw entire communities like this of people sleeping out in the open, living in holes on the ground throughout an entire winter, uh, really heartbreaking. When I look at the footage of Khaled over in Afghanistan, it really tears at my heart knowing that I have three children and my family could have been in a similar situation like that. What I really want to do is make an impact to help those families help themselves. The needs for these returning refugees are great. There's great opportunity to help these people and to help them help themselves. And that's why um, I have decided to focus uh, a great deal of our efforts uh, through the foundation on the issues of refugees, specifically uh, shelter and, and, the, and, the, and the problems with homelessness. In virtually every village I went to in Afghanistan, shelter was the primary need. I'll never forget walking into these villages and just the casual way with which the elders would say that every winter they lose 5, 10, 15 children due to the cold, largely because they're exposed to these unforgiving elements and the freezing temperatures. I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like to watch a kid die, uh, watch your child freeze to death right before your eyes because you don't have a roof over your head. So the shelters will also help provide these people with home, with, with safety, with comfort, and will help save lives. This foundation um, supports humanitarian efforts in Afghanistan. The foundation partners with the UN to build shelters for refugees. A roof over an entire family's head to provide a home for a family costs only $1,500. And that provides everything that a family needs to build their house. They build it themselves um, with, the, with mud bricks and the UN provides the materials and some of the overhead costs to build um, the shelters. But for very little money, we can give these people um, just the very basic elements they need to survive this winter. As long as there are people there who need us, we're their hope, and they depend on us. They're there are no social welfare programs in Afghanistan that can help these people. We're the only people who can help. They're relying on the international community to help them. And we can help in many ways. We can help by being aware of their situation. We can help by not giving up hope. We can help by supporting the foundation and its events. Schools can help. We decided that we would make the cornerstone of our efforts with various schools across this country, SOS, which is Student Outreach for Shelter. And it's really simple. You read the book in the classroom, and then instead of just kind of sitting on that knowledge, you turn it around and you turn it into action. One of the goals of the SOS program was to be able to develop a turnkey program that any school would be able to adopt. Everything is online, maps, curriculum, fundraising, tips, whatever you need to make this successful, you'll be able to access through the website. What I want to tell people is that there is always something you can do as an individual, as a classroom, as a congregation, as a community. There's always things, uh, something you can do and nothing that you do is too small. Everything that you do matters. And that's part of our mission with this foundation is to take your goodwill and uh, turn it around into 
uh, into help, into some kind of benefit for some really vulnerable people.